Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of CS Card Make an Offer Add-on. Now this particular add-on gives the customers an easiest way to request a lower price for your products. The admin enables the Make an Offer tab on the product page and from this section the admin can get the requested quotes from the customers. Under the Make an Offer tab, the customers can quote the quantity required and the price per unit as per their own requirement. So you have a Make an Offer tab on the product pages as you can see here I'm on one of the product pages. Here we have the Make an Offer tab and under that uh, the customers can quote the quantity required and the price per unit. Also if the request is approved by the admin then the customers can get the requested quantity for the requested price per unit and can make a checkout thereafter. The admin on the other hand can also customize the make an offer form as required from the configuration settings of the plugin there. Now kindly note that this particular plugin works for the uh, CS card as well as for the multi vendor there. So the vendors will also be able to have the same functionality under their own account panel. But before I proceed further with today's video tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So here uh, I'm at the uh, CS card storefront right now, as you can see, uh, basically it's the marketplace one as well. So here you can see on the type top, we have the go to administration panel as well as go to vendor panel. So first what today will in this today's video, we'll just be checking out the admin section and I'll just give you an overview for the vendor panel as well thereafter. So on the product pages as a customer, for example, I'm right now logged into my customer account panel. The customers can make an offer for a particular product. So this particular product is for $90.63 there. Now if I scroll down here to the uh, uh, to the bottom here, to the bottom section where we have the description features, product video tabs, we also have a make an offer tab. If I tap on that, we have the product image, the name of the product, the price of the product is there because I'm already logged in. So that's why my email address is uh, auto filled there. Now here the customers can request uh, the quantity in bulk. For example, for example, I'm asking it for uh, four quantity there and uh, I want to set the price as 12 per item there. So it would be 48 for four there. Now to submit this request to the admin, uh, because this is the admin's product there, what I can do is I just need to tap here on the submit button. As soon as I've submitted, you can see that your offer created successfully will reply uh, you soon. Now this request uh, that we have uh, set up under the make an offer here, uh, whenever I'm getting any replies, I'll find these requests under my account section as a customer and then under my offer. So if I go to the my offer right now, you can see that uh, this is the offer number three or the request that I've generated, my email address, the product name, the product quantity, I've requested for four product quantity. Uh, for this product, the actual price was $90.63, but I've asked that I want to have four quantity for $12 per product there. And the status right now is open. So this was the customer's end, how the customers can request uh, a lower price for your products and uh, how they can access their request by going to the my offer section. Mm -hmm. Now let me take you to the admin backend panel uh, there. So after the successful installation of this particular plugin, the admin will find and make an offer section here from the drop down here and there he'll find offers and add custom fields. Now if I take you back to this uh, particular uh, uh, product there that we were checking out, for example this one, the very first one that we were checking out and I go to make an offer. Now these fields are customizable like email, product quantity, price per, uh, price per product. Now how we can set them up is make an offer, go to the make an offer, go to the add custom fields and here you can add the custom fields. So here you can see that we had the email, product quantity, price per product and the same is visible here. The email, product quantity, price per product as well. So this is how you can add the custom fields to the make an offer section there. Now the other thing is that how the admin would be able to see the offers uh, made by the customers. So for that the admin needs to go to make an offer and then offers. Under the offers he'll find the offer number 3 that the customer had placed with the email address, the product name, the quantity is 4, price per product has been set as $12 by the customers and the status right now is open. From here the admin can view the particular request as you can see here. The status is open. 
offered by customer. The details are here, the product quantity, price per product. You can also block the discussion for this offer if you want. Otherwise, if you want to discuss it out, you can go to the offer discussion. And if you want to enter some message, okay, checking the same. And you can post a message thereafter by tapping on the post message. So you can see that the uh, post message has been sent out. Now if I go to the customers and I refresh this particular section here, uh, that's under my account, my offers, my account, my offers. Now you can see that the status has gone from pro open to processed, right? Now if we come back to this particular section here, uh, the uh, for example, if I go back to this particular section here and uh, if the admin wants to approve this particular one, how the admin would be able to uh, basically approve this particular uh, request by the customer he has to accept it or reject it right or he can also delete it as per his requirement by tapping on the delete button so if i accept it here uh, so you can see that the make an offer remaining inventory is nine the price actual price is ninety dollars sixty three cents the product quantity is four price per product has been set as 12 number of uh, days valid offer is one and the promotion description is there as well so from here we can create the promotion and uh, we can see that the status is accepted now now if i go to the customers and, and i refresh this uh, particular page you can see that the particular request has been accepted by the admin and the accepted status is being shown to the customer under my account my offers section right now what the customer can do after the successful uh, thing there he can go to the product page and he can buy the full quantity for $12 each. So if I come to this particular product here, I go and add full quantity and tap add to cart button. You can see that the offer has been applied there and now I can purchase it for $12 uh, dollars per unit there for four units, right? If I go to the cart here, I go to the view cart. Now you can see that uh, the offer has been applied there and uh, the quantity is 4 and the product pr price that needs to be paid is $48. So that's how this plugin gives the customers an easiest way to request a lower price for your products and uh, the customers can quote the quantity required and the price per unit and uh, after the admin has uh, approved the request uh, then the customers can get the requested quantity for the requested price per unit and can then make a check out thereafter as I've shown you right now. So this was uh, the workflow at the customer's end and the admin's end there, right? Now, uh, uh, I just wanted to show you one more thing how the admin would be able to enable the make an offer for the product. For that, what you need to do is you need to go to product and uh, products. Here, you need to search for your particular product. It was brown. I'll search the product. I'll open the product in the edit mode. Then I will go to the add on section. Here I will scroll down to make an offer section. And here I will enable the custom enable the customer offer option. And using this, uh, this would enable the make an offer tab on the product page there for the respective product. So this was the admins view and uh, the rest of the workflow there. And I hope it helped you out in understanding the same. Now, uh, if I log out of the admin account here, let me log out and I go to the vendor panel, log into the vendor account there. So you can see that right now it's the vendor account panel. Same thing is there for the vendor as well. He also has the add custom fields option and the offer section to view the particular offers that have been made for his products, right? So yes, that was much about uh, the plugin. That's the CS card make an offer plugin and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements, then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.